Welcome back my bosses. Today we'll talk about Dolphins special news. Devonta Smith chose the Miami Dolphins at Reese's Senior Bowl even though he is injured and unable to play. Miami Dolphins cornerback Xavier Howard earned more prize. Dolphins signed many new contracts, including some veterans. Report on wide receiver selection trend of Miami Dolphins in 2021. Dolphins hesitated in choosing an offensive coordinator. Dolphins have another player on the roster from recent Shrine Bowls. Okay, let's go. Miami Dolphins get close and personal with Devonta Smith. The Miami Dolphins may want to add a receiver early in the 2021 NFL Draft and top wideout Devona Smith will make his case to the Dolphins coaching staff at the Senior Bowl. It was announced today that Devonta Smith of Alabama has accepted an invitation to the Reese's Senior Bowl and will be coached by the Dolphins coaches. If Brian Flores has his eyes on Smith, now is the best time to get to know, time to get to know him. Smith will not play in the game and will not participate in drills on the field. He suffered a finger injury in the NCAA championship game but he will sit in coaches, position, and team meetings all week long. This is important as this year's NFL Combine will not be held in Indianapolis as a live event. The Combine this year will be more of a virtual event that will be held around the country and teams will not have the same access to the players that they typically do. This makes the Senior Bowl that much more important because it may be the only face-to-face -face interaction between the college kids and the NFL coaches. Many were surprised that Smith accepted the invitation given the fact there is no chance he will play and no need to play. This means Devonta is looking to take a closer approach to the Miami Dolphins coaching staff. Because of Smith's burning desire to play with Tua Tungavailoa, Miami will coach opposite the Carolina coaching staff for the duration of the practice week and game. It's a granity for the coaches to get to know players ahead of the draft and Smith may be making a case for Miami to make him the third overall pick come April. Miami Dolphins cornerback Xavier Howard earned more accolades Monday for his performance during the 2020 season. The accolades keep coming for Xavier Howard. After being selected to the Pro Bowl and the AP All-Pro First Team, Howard was named Monday to the Professional Football Writers Association All-NFL and All-AFC teams. Howard was joined on the All-NFL team at cornerback by Jalen Ramsey of the Los Angeles Rams and on the All-AFC team by Tredavious White of the Buffalo Bills. After being selected to the AP All-Pro First Team, kicker Jason Sanders did not get the same recognition from PFWA members as Baltimore's Justin Tucker got the nod for the All-NFL and All-AFC teams. For full disclosure, I voted for both Howard and Sanders. Howard was a slam dunk after leading the league with 10 interceptions and finishing with the best opponent passer cornerbacks targeted at least 60 times at 48.3. Sanders deserved the nod after going 36 for 39 on field goal attempts and perfect on extra points, including 8 for 9 from 50 yards or more, while Tucker was 26 for 29 on field goals and missed a pat. Oh, and Sanders had a better net kickoff average than Tucker. Dolphins signed many new contracts, including some veterans. Amid changes to both personnel and the coaching staff, the Miami defense made marked improvements over the course of the 2020 season. Eight of the newcomers accounted for a combined 4,599 snaps for defensive coordinator Josh Boyer's unit. Of Miami's 41 sacks, which ranked tied for 10th in the NFL, 23.5 came from players new to the roster in 2020. The veteran-most defender on the Dolphins roster was part of a triumvirate of linebackers that set a new standard in the franchise record books. Kyle Van Noy Kyle Van Noy signed as a free agent and produced six sacks. Third-year linebacker Jerome Baker, 7, and second-year linebacker Andrew Van Ginkle, 5.5, combined with Van Noy to generate 18.5 sacks, the most by a trio of linebackers in team history. Among the newcomers in the secondary, cornerbacks Byron Jones and Noah Igbenogany along with safety Brandon Jones accounted for a combined 1,485 snaps. Incumbent cornerbacks Xavier Howard and Nick Needham and safeties Bobby McCain and Eric Rowe rounded out the top seven snap takers in a group that helped Miami lead the league in takeaways. The turnover-centric mindset from the defensive backs unit started back in training camp with another newcomer, defensive backs coach Gerald Alexander. Alexander spent time with the Dolphins in 2019 as an intern before returning to his job as the defensive backs coach at the University of California Berkeley. 
he took the same job with the Dolphins in after Boyer was promoted to defensive coordinator. Alexander's primary area of focus, takeaways. It's getting them mindful of, it's all about the ball. Everything we do, every technique, every detailed coaching point that we give them and every defensive scheme, is all about getting the ball. You start to see that energy, that competitiveness among those guys at practice doing the little things that reward points. At the same time, I'm trying to build culture. I'm trying to build a way of behaving in the defensive back room. Alexander's defensive backs unit contributed to a defense that totaled 29 takeaways, the most in the NFL. Miami also finished first in third down defense. Several elements came together for the Dolphins to allow only 31.2% of opponents' third downs to move the chains. Among them, new assistant defensive backs coach Kurt Kuntz, who head coach Brian Flores says led third down meetings each week. He's just very detailed in his explanations of what's going on throughout the, on throughout the week and third downs, McCain said. He's very detailed, a very good coach, and he helps us out. Report on wide receiver selection trend of Miami Dolphins in 2021. Devonda Smith. Jamar Chase. Jalen Waddell. Rashad Bateman. These are the kinds of names Miami Dolphins fans will know well be the time the end of April rolls around, if they don't already. These are the perceived top wide receiver prospects for this year's 2021 NFL Draft, which will serve as a critical swinging point for the Dolphins' immediate future and long-term success. With a successful draft in 2021, Miami can push themselves from a young, aspiring contender and transform into a legitimate force in the AFC. Many Dolphins fans believe that the team must secure a top-wide receiver prospect in April's draft. They're probably not wrong, but it is the secondary opportunities for Miami that may Because for as good as the top of this year's wide receiver class is, one must remember to see the trends across the league. For rookie wide receivers, success isn't limited to just top 20 picks. And, as a matter of fact, some of the better young wide receivers across football weren't first-round picks at all. Washington's Terry McLaurin 87 receptions, 1,118 yards, 4 touchdowns Seattle's DK Metcalf 83 receptions, 1,303 yards, 10 touchdowns Tennessee's AJ Brown 70 receptions, 1,075 yards and 11 touchdowns Brown was drafted 51st overall. Metcalf, 64th. McLaurin, 76th. The NFL's receiving king in 2020, Buffalo's Stephon Diggs, was a fifth-round selection out of Maryland in 2015. The list goes on. As a matter of fact, of the 18 NFL pass catchers this season to surpass 1,000 yards on the year, just seven of them were first-round first selections. Include, Mike Evans, Amari Cooper, Brandon Cooks, DJ Moore, DeAndre, Hopkins, Calvin Ridley, Justin Jefferson. The Dolphins, with this in mind, would be wise to double dip at the wide receiver position and secure not just an elite talent via a top pick but also a complementary player, which history suggests may be the more immediate contributor to the cause anyway. Names like Ohio State's Chris Olave, USC's Eamon Raw Street Brown, Michigan's Nico Collins, these are the kinds of names to watch for the Dolphins. If Miami tackles the position like they did the offensive line in 2020, we'd see a big money free agent signing and half of the team's first four picks invested in the receiver room, an exciting proposition for a team that needs all the help it can get. And so look for the Dolphins to not be complacent here but to legitimately invest in the receiver room. With a little luck, the next Devontae Adams, Terry McLaurin or DK Metcalf can be the end result. The end result. But even if it isn't, a polished technician would offer the Dolphins something they're currently missing. Dolphins hesitated in choosing an offensive coordinator. Based on recent coaching announcements, the AFC East won't be getting any easier anytime soon. After the news of the Jets hiring highly regarded 49ers defensive coordinator Robert Sala as their new head coach came a report Monday that Brian Dabble would return as Bill's offensive coordinator in 2021. Dabble, who served as Dolphins coordinator in 2011, was considered one of the leading candidates to be hired as head coach of the Los Angeles, but they instead went with Rams defensive coordinator Brandon Staley. Dabble is given a lot of credit for the massive improvement of quarterback Josh Allen and should be among the favorites to win the Assistant Coach of the Year award. 
The other team in the division, the New England Patriots, could soon be in the market for an offensive coordinator, just like the Dolphins are. Daniels is considered a strong candidate to become Philadelphia Eagles head coach. Dolphins have another player on the roster from recent Shrine Bowls. The Dolphins have one player on the roster from recent Shrine Bowls, wide receiver Malcolm Perry. Perry touched the ball once in last year's game, a 52-yard touchdown run. Perry joined the Drive Time podcast with Travis Wingfield after he was selected in the seventh round last April. He talked about his time at the Naval Academy including the rigorous schedule and how it prepared him for the NFL.